Playing games people say are fake, part three. 2024, I'm exposing fake games, and this one is Last War. From fake ads, part one. Today we're trying last. War. Let's go for the upgraded car. Come on. No, we were so close. Okay, I don't know. I gotta get all these guys out of the way. And I got a new soldier. Okay, now we're like looking really strong. I need this tank. Oh my gosh, I missed it. This might be it. I don't know why people say this game's fake because this is crazy. Wait. Oh my gosh. Can we get the plane? No. All right, we really need the spider. There's the boss. Come on, come on. No, we missed that too. Okay, maybe we can dodge around him. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. No. 10 out of 10. Last war is just like the ad. What's going on, everybody? It's Swag. And today I'm going to show you guys how a game studio uses uses malicious advertising to bolster their player numbers. How those same advertisements are nothing like the game itself and how creator shields and or actors pull you into playing a game that turns into a money pit early on. So you might have heard about a game called Top War. It was all over TikTok, Instagram and basically every second or third advertisement you'd see would include the fucked up game and its cringy recordings they call ads. Now, Lost War survival game is pretty much a direct ripoff from Top War, making the same cringe claims like, this game is just like the ads. Everyone's saying Last War survival game is fake. Let's see if it's true. And then they show gameplay that's nowhere near what is even included in the game. Now, there's tons of games like this up, where a studio will create advertisements showcasing gameplay that is not included in the game itself, They'll hire an actor or a content creator who's shallow enough to shield themselves out and make them read a mind-numbing script in probably the most brain-dead way to attract mostly younger children to play their game to hopefully make money off of them. Which younger children? I mean teenagers. I am legit old now. This garbage is now common practice as companies like Last War Survival Game Studio First Fun have realized that this formula actually fucking works. So, after being bombarded for weeks by ads about this game on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter, I decided to give in and test the game that was being advertised to me so heavily, and you will now hear my verdict. The game Last War Survival Game is about the fucking worst mobile game I have ever fucking played. Not only are the graphics terrible in a sort of Team Fortress-esque style that has not an ounce of the same charisma as Team Fortress, by the way. The gameplay relies on a terribly lazy form of base building, as is oh so popular right now. The fun little math equation style Tomb Runner loop you see in the advertisements is also extremely lazy. Looks nothing like the ads and is riddled with bugs. They've poured more effort into their AI-powered voiceover lines and anime titty quote-unquote cinematic reveals than the entire rest of the game and I got hit with a by this character after not even the fifth level of the game. Fuck it, imagine. Listen, I've worked in the mobile game industry for a few short years myself. And while admittedly the games my colleagues and I supported our player base with was a money grab to say the very fucking least, at the bare minimum, there were people in that company who genuinely cared about the game and wanted to make it a fun experience. There was amazing story writing, there were incredibly talented artists, UX designers, programmers who wanted to make the game run as flawless and smooth as possible. And of course, my team and I, who genuinely cared about issues people were facing with the game. If you want to see a stark contrast to that, look at the review section of Last War Survival Game. It's abysmal. Last War Survival Game has none of that. Its entire concept is to make as much money as possible in a predatory way that tricks the viewer of previously mentioned advertisements that the game has modes that it doesn't actually fucking have, simply to hook you in. Nice. And with today's attention span and willingness of younger people to get hooked to spend money on not having to farm out the next boss level for, let's say, a day straight, this dumb shit actually fucking works. Even worse. When it comes to the content creators, who's she allowed to advertise for pieces of shit like this? But Swag, you've taken game sponsorships before? Yes. Yes, I have. And aside from one game that was a total mistake early on, all of the sponsorships I've taken since were researched and played first before I even thought about introducing them to you guys. One of the many reasons you will never, ever see me playing Raid Shit Legends. Fuck them. See, I understand having to make money. I understand having to make ends meet, having to eat at the end of the month, but manipulating thousands upon thousands of kids or teenagers now 
just for a few hundred dollars and an almost certain career death straight after because all you'll be known for is being that guy who made a last worst survival game advertisement is just not worth it man google youtube tiktok not acting up against these malicious ads is also a clear sign that they simply do not give a rat's ass about the quality of their ads displayed to their users and it's quite funny to me how all those platforms will instantly demonetize their users for inappropriate content or anything done with copyright hmm? don't want to talk about that one um, but when offered a large lump of money, they'll just keep quiet and show the ads regardless of the outcry from their respective users? Yes? Okay. Uh, so yeah, any studio like First Fun and Top Wars are big stinky corporate copy machine money grabbing motherfuckers who deserve not a single cent of your money nor a single second of your precious time. That's about it. Later.